Here we are, we're at Wolf Lake at the access point to put in for our trip today on Co at Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park. We're here for three nights. Uh, it's a busy spot right now, so I won't get a whole lot of filming done while we're here, but uh, let's see what we can do. We've made it to the portage. As you can see, Dan is already there, and as you may have already seen, Lily went for a dunk three times in what should have been a 45 minute paddle turned into an hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> she definitely caused some trouble along the way, but what adventure is there without a little bit of adversity? Let's take a walk over the portage. Hey, look who I found! Dan and Lily. The portage is only 140 meters, but uh, I am inexperienced at this. It's been 10 years for me. I'm doing it.
Hey guys, welcome to Crab Lake. Today is day two of a four day adventure. We kayaked in. It's been 10 years since I've done any paddle camping. So this is it. It's been gorgeous. It's sweltering hot and a little bit of a breeze and uh, the, um, the view is just amazing. Come have a look around. So this site has a picnic table and a couple of benches. It's got lots of rock outcroppings and beautiful pine trees. And there is a thunderbox off in the distance and along a long windy trail. Uh, we've got marsh nearby and it's beautiful. The birds and the frogs are going constantly. It's amazing. We have the standard provincial park campfire ring. Dan has bucked down some dead standing, which I'll take care of shortly. And... Uh, Come have a look. So we brought our Eureka bug, no bug zone and uh, we haven't really been using it. There may be a call for some rain tomorrow, in which case we might have to get creative. But we can do it. Uh, there's a nice tent pad right there. There's a great swimming spot. There's actually a couple of landings where you can bring in a kayak or a canoe. Oh, a water bag. I don't, you can't see it very well here, but there's almost like a staircase built in that rock right there. Great for getting in and out of the water. And uh, it's been quiet today. There was a family across another campsite over there. And they're gone. But it is Friday. I expect somebody will be coming in later on today. So this is a pretty big tent. This is a four-man tent, and Dan's got it on a, a pad here that's a perfect size for it. At the last minute, uh, we had to bring the dog, and Dan, Dan switched from his hammock to the tent for the dog. I'm in my hammock over there. We have some beautiful rocks and some trees and a beautiful breeze. This is on a little bit of a peninsula, so... Uh, the breeze comes from whichever direction. Tonight's dinner is going to be a chicken fried rice. I've got broccoli and cauliflower rice and uh, chicken. There's some shredded carrots in there too. I can see them right there on the top. And I've got some Montreal steak spice in there. I've got um, uh, soy sauce packets on the side. And all good meals need some fat, so I'm going to put some olive oil right in there. This is one of those um, water flavoring drops bottles, just filled up, emptied out and filled up with olive oil. It uh, holds about a quarter of a cup, perfect for camping. I just carry it in a baggie, just, just in case. I'm letting this soak for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to bring it to a boil for five, and we'll see how that goes. This is the best part of the whole day. 